11 Alive is determined to find out what's going on with coronavirus testing. President Trump promises to ramp up testing thanks to a new rapid test. But that is not happening just yet. 11 Alive chief investigative reporter Brendan Keefe shows you how these tests work right now. This is the battleground in the fight against COVID-19, one of dozens of labs where samples are tested for the virus. But the reality is that these tests uh, do take time. Any doctor can use standard swabs most of their offices already have. And I'm going to have you tilt your head up just a little okay. bit. Here's the process. They take two swabs of each patient, one of the nose, one of the back of the throat. Those are frozen and shipped to either a CDC lab, state health department, or a commercial lab like Quest or LabCorp. Right now, tests are processed within three or four days before the results are sent to your doctor. Okay. We should have the results back in the next three to four days. Uh, the sample arrives one day. Uh, it's tested the next, but you also have to have another day or two to get the report back. Where are the test kits? Why don't doctors have them? Because it's not a kit sent to your doctor, it's a test the lab uses. It's not a blood test, but a standard swab. You can't be tested at a government or commercial lab. They're just processing the swabs collected by medical staff around the nation. The results are not instant like a flu test. It takes hours to run each sample. Ideally, we all would like to have uh, a rapid test that could be done at the bedside. We don't have that. And that means the results are out of date the moment they arrive, confirming only that the patient tested negative three or four days earlier. The federal government is now promising expedited testing of more people with results between 24 and 36 hours. That system was just announced more than 50 days after the first positive COVID-19 case in the United States.